A uh, top, a top and a bottom. Do you know what that is? <laughs> I feel okay, uncomfortable. So, okay, so. <laughs> How is it with the best show on the internet? My name is Top. <laughs> <laughs> My name is Bottom, respectively. <laughs> and today, you guys, we have Literally, a very, very special guest. A very guest. special guest. The most special guest. Mm -hmm. He's an internet celebrity. He's uh, a... Thousands of retweets. Thousands of retweets. He's a fan of The Walking Dead. He created Mitch he, he Rossi. Created, he helped to create me, but he didn't break me. Everybody, please welcome Mike Rossi. Mike, Mike Rossi. Rossi. Sit right down. Yeah. I already made that joke. So today, what we're going to do is inform Mike of the definition of some gay slang yeah. terms. Yeah. But we're going to make it interesting. We're going to make it kind of a guessing game and see if you can figure it out, context clues. The first term <clears throat> is... Beat. <laughs> beat. Like, like, whoa, you look beat. Oh, she is so beat. She's so, so beat. So beat, I would say that probably means someone is uh, very up. No. That's, no. A good, that's a good guess. <laughs> Our makeup girl's laughing. No, it's actually the opposite. It's the opposite. Yeah, if like the, their makeup is on point. Then they're beat. It's yeah. like when like you do makeup, you're like you're beating, beating the face. Oh, so they're one. beat. Like their makeup is on point. Oh, I gotcha. The next one is um, hunty. <laughs> hunty? Uh, hunty. Uh, I would have to assume hunty would mean like uh, an attractive gay guy. Hunty. <laughs> <laughs> it's a derivative of honey. Like, oh, yeah. honey, like it's a term of endearment. Yeah, but okay. it can also, it's also like a combination. Maybe this is what I've heard, this is a rumor of honey and c tea. You know what c tea uh, Yeah, okay. I have a vague idea. <laughs> <laughs> work. Like if, if you said it like as an expletive, like, like work. work. That means somebody did something well. Yes. I got yeah. one right. That's actually true. Like yeah. if someone's like Fine. dancing and killing it, you're like work. Oh. Work. It can mean anything you want. Yeah, work. that's the beauty of it. Okay. okay. So next one is spilling the tea. Spilling the tea. I'm, I was just gonna give you an example. I feel like, okay, spill the tea, honey. Like, messed up. Tea. So you messed up? Like, spilling the milk or. No. <laughs> spilling the tea is like, let's get real. Yeah. Like, spill the tea. Like, oh. spill the, it comes from like, spill the truth tea. The next one is, um, like, when you drag someone. Like, oh, drag her. Drag her. Or like, she totally dragged me. Oh. Totally dragged me. Totally. <laughs> oh, I love when you say it. <laughs> Uh, did something to make me look bad or made fun of kind me? Kind of, yeah, yeah. Yeah, actually, yeah. If I was okay. like, I was like, oh, <laughs> your makeup is not looking good today. So I'd, I'd be like, like wow, drag, drag her. Like, yeah. or drag me. Oh, okay. Yeah. Or like, you're he, dragging them through the mud? Yeah, yeah. If he yeah. insulted someone's shirt, I'd, I'd be like, oh my god, drag her. Oh, I like oh, the shirt. Oh, <laughs> oh, oh, I see. Like, okay. you totally insulted her. Yeah. Okay, do you know what grinder is? I'll give you a hint. I Can had it when I was 17. <laughs> I don't know, maybe something to take selfies? No. Well, I mean, yeah. Well, okay. I mean, there's definitely selfies on Grindr. Yeah. But Grindr is a mechanism. Oh, wait, is yeah. it like a hookup kind of thing? Yes. Yes. Okay. Okay. Yes. yes. That's now I remember. Now you nailed it. Go buy her hookup. Yes. Kiki. Next term is Kiki. Like, yeah, hey, you guys, let's have a Kiki. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, let's have a party? Yes. Essentially, Essentially yeah. yeah. Kind of. I think it's more like, I want a kiki, like I want to hear the hot gossip to spill the tea at the kiki. It's oh, you know I mean? This next one sounds really dirty, but it isn't. Okay. Oh my god, I gag. <laughs> like, gag. Like, I'm gagged. Like, uh, you're keeping someone from saying something, or? No, that's really good. No, that's though. actually that's smart. Good. That's That would make sense. When something's like really, like you like something a lot, or something's really cute, or someone. Well, not someone. But something you like, and you're like, oh my god, I'm so gagged. Like, that's amazing. That's yeah, this is a good gag. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay, next one. Next one is, this is a really important pivotal phrase, phrase right? and it's uh, throwing shade. Throwing shade. shade. Putting a blanket over something. Close. Like a, Like organized what? crime? <laughs> is it a blanket? Yeah. No, throwing uh, shade <laughs> is, is like when you kind of insult someone in a, like a subtle way. Yeah. Oh. If I'm like, oh wow, you wore that shirt again, three days in a row. Yeah, and you're, if you're like, like that's a little shade. I wouldn't wear that shade. jacket, oh, yeah. but it's cute for you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like a left-handed compliment. Exactly. Okay. Yeah. Is that what they call it in the straight world? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. <laughs> the next one is twink. Twink. twink? Mm-hmm. Just twink. Someone that's uh, a little more feminine. Yes. Yeah. In a, in a way. Yes. Yeah. 
I think a boyish, a boyish gay guy. That's okay, like so has like no hair, and they're like oh, young yeah. looking. Uh, I got you. Okay. Okay. Do you want to read this one? I feel weird. Um. Uh, top, a top and a bottom. Do you know what that is? <laughs> I feel okay, uncomfortable. So, okay, so <laughs> yeah, if they were from the waist up attractive or waist down. Oh my gosh! <laughs> I'm just guessing <laughs> here. Is this bad? That's, actually, there are different words for that. So, <laughs> um, so yeah, a top is. A, a, okay, so basically, right. And the bottom is, is the, the receiver. receiver you know oh, I mean? a pitcher and a catcher. I get you. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think we have to take it any farther because no, you I understand. Think, yeah, I got it. You did great. Well, thank <laughs> you. I, my <laughs> personal favorite was throwing the blanket over something. <laughs> throwing shade. Okay. And now it's time for the weekly My weekly obsession is Tulsa, Oklahoma because we just had our biggest headlining show ever of our lives here. We just got off stage actually like 30 minutes ago and it was like the most fun I've had on stage in a long time. So. Me too. My weekly obsession would have to be driving. Driving. Because we've driven now to Birmingham for that concert. That was like 10 hours? Ten, 10 hours. hours. Ten hours. So we drove five today. Five today. So it's meditative. I it feel is. That. It is. My weekly obsession is using this. I don't, I keep using it, and I feel like it's a little douchey. <laughs> no, it's cool. It's a sweet zero. I think people yeah. are like, oh my god, he thinks he's punk rock because he has tattoos and blonde hair. <laughs> but honestly, I'm living my life. It's Everybody hears this song, don't listen to anything else today, today or you'll die. <laughs> <laughs> I've only been listening to Lemonade, so I hate to do another really? Lemonade song, but don't hurt yourself from good. Lemonade, because she is screaming. It was almost my song last week, but I was sorry, but this week, it's so interesting, she's going off in it. Yeah. My song of the week is um, old, but I played it today in the dressing room, because um, I wanted to hear it really bad. It's By the Grace of God by Katy Perry. Oh my god. Isn't that such a random selection? The are pretty. They are so pretty. We saw her live in um, Scotland once, she sang that song, and I'll never forget it. That's my story. Okay. <laughs> Thanks for doing it at Superfruit. Thanks, Mike, for coming on. Thanks, Dad. Thanks for having me. And that was less uncomfortable than I thought. Yeah. Did you learn a lot? I did learn. Okay. You should start using it at work. Please do. Yes. With I'm your sure. like straight yeah, coworkers. Upper management. Ah, like, hey. Yeah. <laughs> Goodbye. Perfect. Yeah, it's like tucking someone in, throwing them. Shit. Oh, tucking yeah. someone in, throwing them shape.